FaceTime is receiving its first ever major update inside of iOS 12. Now you can do group video calls with up to 32 different participants and it includes a bunch of fun effects and an emoji and other ways to make just video calls more engaging. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. Now while we are pretty early on in the beta process and things are definitely a bit buggy, we've got our iOS 12 device right here. We took a few different phone calls for a spin just to see how well it worked. Now while we don't have a bunch of people with iOS 12 running it, this is what it'll look like if you have a whole bunch of people in your conversation. Again, you can have up to 32 different participants and they'll fit on the screen. If they don't, they go into a little carousel along the bottom. Now while FaceTime has all these new features, the app itself is pretty similar to how it's always been in the past. So let's go ahead and jump on a call with Max and Vadim and see how it works. Our first call actually failed. We were not able to get Vadim, his video, to show up. I was able to chat with Max freely, but for some reason just wasn't coming through on Vadim's device. A few restarts later and a few recalling got everything to work as it should. So for the second call, we had Vadim call Max and I to see if it worked the other way around. A little alert comes in right along the top and you can see Max and one more. You can see my preview before I go ahead and accept the call. Before accepting the call, you have a few different options, including changing the camera that you're looking at or applying a bunch of different fun effects. Once we were in the call, it went really smooth and worked just as a FaceTime call would. You notice my preview image in the bottom right hand corner and Max and Vadim largely taking up the bulk of the screen. As more participants are added, the smaller their individual images would get. However, you ever want to make someone larger just tapping on the screen brings up the controls, able to hang up the call, or the little option to actually make one person's image take up the whole screen. So I can go ahead and make Max full screen here, which is a little bit delayed, but Max should be able to pull up and kind of hides everyone else, and you can tap again to go back. The in-app controls are in the bottom right hand corner where you can apply different effects, rotate the cameras, mute, change the speaker, turn off the microphone, see who's in the call, add additional people to the call, or tap on that little message icon to jump to the messages app and send a message to everyone in the video call. Speaking of effects, there's a whole lot going on here and a few that are really quite impressive for a video chat. So literally while we're live, you can jump in and access an emoji that will replace your head. It will follow your head around. It'll follow your tongue winking. Now all that is new in iOS 12. Not only do you have the new me emoji that you saw right there, all the old emoji and the four new additions, including ghost, T-Rex, koala, and tiger. All of these were extremely smooth. They did a great job tracking our head on our shoulders as we moved it about up, down, rotating our eyes, our expressions, all of that kind of fun stuff that we've seen from emoji or an emoji many times in the past. What gets really impressive is you can start to stack different effects. So we can throw on an an emoji head and then run through a whole bunch of different filters that will filter your an emoji or just whatever you have on your camera. It's really, really cool and really nice that you can kind of stack and add all these effects at the same time. So it definitely does seem to be a bit power intensive and we noticed it running a lot smoother on the iPhone 10 versus older devices. Again, since we are early on, there's a whole lot of wonkiness happening. For instance, I could not get my keyboard to go away and we had to end the call and quit the app to really get that to finally dismiss. Other things like that text is kind of floating about in the app and you just can't even see it. Other things just aren't moving correctly. Vadim was able to add all those kind of stickers around, but the stickers don't move. He can't adjust their placement at all when you try to put them on the screen. Group FaceTime is available now in the beta for iOS on iPhone. It is currently not on the iPad, though of course it'll make its way there before the eventual release. It is also available on macOS Mojave. For Apple Watch users, they are not left out of the party. You can actually answer the FaceTime group video call right on your Apple Watch and just do audio only. And then when you get to a spot where you can pull out your phone, you can pick up your phone and join the call actually on camera. Group FaceTime is a long awaited feature and something that we have been expecting for many years now. So we are thrilled that it is actually here. And not only is it here, but it is far more robust than we ever would have imagined when we were hoping for this feature. So what do you guys think of the new group FaceTime as well as all the different effects that you have access to? Is this definitely worth upgrading for? Are you excited to start taking group calls on your iPhone, your iPad, and your Mac? Make sure to let us know your thoughts 
down below in the comments. Stay tuned to Apple Insider for other first looks on everything new in iOS 12, watchOS 5, tvOS 12, and macOS Mojave. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.